Well, sure, Alcatraz was, uh, was uh, one of the worst known places to be in in those days, and the, and the stigma was bad, so uh, I was ashamed of having been there, and I didn't want anybody to ever know about it, so that's why I kept quiet for 51 years. After five decades protecting a closely kept rock secret, former federal prisoner Robert Luke has returned to Alcatraz. Spend some time face to face with number 1118 AZ and listen to personal stories of his path to United States Penitentiary Alcatraz and to five long years on the rock. When we uh, got down to the dock in Richmond and we went headed west across the bay, approaching the island, and I could see uh, white buildings down the water, near the water, and up on top of the island was Alcatraz, was the prison. And in the light, it looked like a French chateau. But I knew this was no country at home. This was going to be my prison for several years. Well, Alcatraz was a punishment prison from the other federal prisons. So we were sent here for doing something wrong there, escape. Uh, killing somebody or fight or uh, any other number of reasons. And the farthest you can walk in one direction is about 100 yards, which is the length of the cell house. And so we were very uh, controlled here and they had no freedom of movement and a lot of rules and we had to adhere to them. I mean, everything you did was programmed and because they wanted complete control of the prison. This program uniquely presents the harsh reality of doing hard time as number 1118 shares his personal story and many closely guarded secrets. One night about four in the morning, I broke my cell up, set fire to everything and uh, flooded it. And then they took me over to D block. And I was over there for about three months altogether. And the first 29 days I was in uh, one of the dark holes, stripped. Flash back with this rock con as we uncover one man's path to and through America's most famous and most feared federal penitentiary. Welcome to The Rock. <laughs>